All right, 3.2.27, we are going to find the first derivative and the second derivative of the function x to the fourth power times e to the x. So of course, we are just going to use the product rule. I will label the first part as my red f and the second part as my red g, and I'm multiplying. So on the side, f is equal to x to the fourth power and g is equal to e to the x. And when I differentiate f, I will get 4x to the third power and the derivative e to the x is just e to the x. That's like the best thing in the world. All right, now I'm going to pair things up and get my first derivative. f prime of x, this is going to be, I pair up this and times that, x to the fourth times e to the x. x to the fourth times e to the x. Plus, I will have e to the x times 4x to the third power e to the x times 4x to the third power like that. And notice that they both have e to the x, so I can actually factor out e to the x. Parentheses, I will have x to the fourth power plus 4x to the third power. And this is my first derivative. And now for the second derivative, I'm just going to look at my first derivative and I'm going to take the derivative of the first derivative. Just think about this is like a new question, all right? So, once again, this is the product of two things. I'm going to use the product rule. I'll label the first part as my red f, and the second part, which is this entire parentheses, as my red g. On the side, I'm going to write down f is equal to e to the x. And my red g is equal to x to the 4 plus 4x to the third power. Just like this. And now we can just keep differentiated derivative of e to the x. Once again, the best thing in the world, e to the x, right? And g prime, derivative of x to the 4 is just 4x to the third power. And derivative of positive 4x to the third power, bring the 3 to the front. So 4 times 3 is equal to 12, plus 12. And take away 1 from the exponent. So 12x to the second power. With these ingredients, I'm ready to get my second derivative. And let me just write down f double prime of x. I will first pair up this e to the x times g prime, just like that. So it's going to be e to the x parentheses 4x to the third power plus 12x squared. Close parentheses. And I'm going to add the second part is going to be I pair out the g function. Use the parentheses accordingly, multiply with f prime, which is e to the x. So I get x to the 4 power plus 4x to the third power, close parentheses, times e to the x. And once again, I see I have e to the x, so I can factor out e to the x all the way to the front, parentheses, and now let's draw in the leftovers. Here I have 4x to the third power plus 12x squared. And as the second part is, I have plus x to the 4 plus 4x to the third power. Close parentheses. And if you take a look of inside of the parentheses, we see that the 4x to the third power and the 4x to the third power are like terms. So we can combine like terms. So altogether, what we're going to get is e to the x all the way in the front. Uh, and let's write the polynomial uh, in decreasing order. So x to the 4 power here, that goes first, and plus 4x to the third power plus 4x to the third power, that's a total of 8x to the third power, and we have the plus 12x squared. So this will be the second derivative of f. So here we have two parts. This is pretty much the final result. And of course, earlier, this was the first derivative. Okay, and we are done.